Doggo. Sleeping Doggo. There she is. Aww. All right. Hello. Mike here. <laughs> well, I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to show you a dog. I'm here to talk about World of Warcraft. That's an odd one, right? So I've been playing around with a project called Azeroth Core recently that lets me emulate the World of Warcraft server, the backend server. And I've been manipulating it and updating the database in order to change how the world itself works, the mechanics, NPCs, quests, and various other things. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if we actually talked about that on the channel? Now, that doesn't mean the channel's becoming a gaming channel. Far from it. What it actually means is we're going to be looking at Azeroth Core from a DevOps lens. And so you're going to follow my journey as I go through my project, which is called World of Solo Craft, which is basically how do we make an MMO RPG into a solo RPG, or, or rather a co-op RPG. And this actually requires quite a lot of technical knowledge, which I think would be very, very interesting to see, because you'll be able to see the results. You'll be able to see me implementing SQL, Bash, Python, C++. There's a Linux operating system management. There'll be CI, CD involved. We'll have to do backups. There's a MySQL database. And the Azeroth Core code base itself is also C++, as well as the modules that I'm going to be writing are in C++. And so just like any other software, Azeroth Core is also something that can benefit from DevOps practices. So I figured, well, if I'm making changes to it already, why don't I simply record my process and we talk we talk about it on the channel and we go over it from a DevOps perspective. I think I think Daisy thinks it's a good idea. There she is. No, she doesn't agree. She thinks it sounds boring, but that's okay. I promise you it's going to be very, very interesting. So I just wanted to let you know that this is something I'm going to be doing and we're going to be looking at a lot of technical aspects as to getting this server running and then making changes to it. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that sounds interesting to you. And I will see you soon in the next video, which will be about this project. Cheers. Aww.